Hey guys, Mtash here, and uh, this is going to change how gear is recalibrated pretty heavily. Going into the new update, this is the PTS right now, the, the test server, um, they have drastically changed how recalibration has worked. Now, I've dabbled in through a little bit of it to try to figure out exactly how the system works, and there are still caps on gear, but it works a lot differently, and you can heavily, heavily upgrade your gear now based on this new system. I'm talking massive upgrades to your stats, whether you choose to upgrade your armor or your damage in different stats. I honestly think that this system is going to allow us to do some pretty cool stuff with our builds and really make us either more tanky or do a ton more damage with our builds. The biggest thing is there's a very good chance we're going to drastically bring up our ability to get skill power and hopefully unlock some cool mods. So let's get started with this. Typically on an arm piece or, or a glove, um, 9, 10, 11, 12% of a single weapon damage is one of your best rolls possible. Now you could get armor, you could get health, you could get some skill power if you really wanted, but on these gloves, Typically, one of the best rolls is going to be a 10% or more damage roll. Uh, if you're looking at some of these, you know, they can get into that 12% range, but this is pretty much capped out in the current version of the game. You can also find stuff uh, like this here, and this is considered, in many people's eyes, a wasted roll. Maybe not for everyone, but because you have two stats, they both end up being a lower roll than you could have if it just rolled health or it just rolled SMG damage. However, in the new update, there is a way to drastically bring up these stats further than normal. Now, in the regular version, if I wanted to roll some extra SMG damage on here, I'd only get capped out at like 5, 6, maybe 7%. I could actually roll it again with a higher one and inch it up a couple percent, a couple percent, and so on and so forth until I got to, you know, 10, 11, 12, but it would, it would be like four recalibrations, three recalibrations if I wanted to do it, getting a couple percentage each time. But now, if I go to recalibrate this, I can actually steal a full 10% weapon damage, but this will crank my recalibration score up to 100%. Now, if I choose 9% weapon damage, we're at essentially 87%, and I'd be able to get a little bit more stats on this. But if I wanted that full 10%, this is now maxed out, and I can't recalibrate it any further. So I'm going to do that right now just to, um, just to show you this. Well, I guess I, it doesn't really matter. I wouldn't be able to recalibrate it anyways because it's already, it's already recalibrated. But once I've hit that cap, I can't go beyond that. I can't go beyond 10% here on this particular one. Um, I could try to find 12 later, and I just can't recalibrate it. But same thing goes with the health. If I wanted to steal a higher roll of the health, I can. Now, in this case, I'm only taking an extra 400 health. It's not that amazing. Uh, I don't even think I have a higher roll here, right? And this is only giving me a 9% recalibration score. So this means that I'd be able to continue to recalibrate my health higher and higher if I found more rolls. But in my opinion, the new meta on a lot of these items is going to be getting a health or an armor roll and then maxing out the damage with the other recalibration. This way you can get a little bit more health or armor for uh, particular builds or, or just to stay alive a little longer, but still get a massive damage roll here. Now you're going to have to look at which gloves you want to use because some of them have mod slots so they might not roll uh, an extra attribute here and it's, it, you know, it's going to vary things uh, a lot of the time. But one thing I wanted to show you is, oops, sorry, is actually on the chest piece because I noticed this one has some of the, the largest swings in stats. So if we were to look at, uh, let's say this one here, it's got crit chance on it, it's got some hit damage on it, and it's got a roll for health. Now I could change that out with health or armor as long as it's a blue stat, but you can see here, I can get, uh, where is this bad boy? I got one down here. I can get 19,000 health. I can get an extra 8,000 health off this bad boy. And that's only 47%. Because chess pieces can roll so many stats on them, there's actually a lot of leeway here. So I could actually go down even a little further and I've got a, I've got a big one here. There we go. 22,000 armor. I can even roll that on there and I've still got room to move. So 
going forward with a lot of these builds, you're going to want your other stats to be pretty much capped out and then move over the one that is, uh, you know, has the, the biggest potential for growth. Okay, so I, I blundered this so bad, I had to actually cut the video. Um, so what you're going to want to do in this situation with something like a chess piece is two of the stats you want to roll as high as humanly possible. Uh, because then you're able to drag over one of your best stats. So in this case, this chess piece is pretty bad. 7 crit chance is relatively low. 4.5% uh, critical hit damage is pretty low as well. But the bonus armor is okay. So I'd probably want to replace this crit damage. But let's try to find one that's a little bit closer. Uh, you know, this one's not too bad. 10% headshot damage, 8% weapon damage. These two stats are, are pretty solid as well. Uh, you might want to roll off the health, right? We could take that health and we could give it the full 22,000 and we're getting at about 83% of the recalibration total score. And so if you can get at least two of those stats to be very, very, very high, then you're going to be able to bring over, uh, you know, a huge boost to my armor here and replace that shitty health roll. And we're going to have a very nice chess piece. Uh, if you end up looking at a chess piece, I think I've got one here, uh, like this one here. This one's got 15% critical hit chance. This is getting close to the max roll. I think 20% is, is, the, is the maximum humanly possible. But I think you can only get it on purple items. So getting 15% here is pretty good. If we could find something with like 8, 9, 10% weapon damage, this chest would have a lot of value. And so you are definitely going to have to go for these big rolls. You want to get these as high as you can and then bring over that final hurrah to make your, your chest piece godly. And that goes the same with everything. Um, you know, on this one, I've got some pretty damn good damage to elites, so maybe I'd want to go get a huge 400 or 500 skill power, uh, on this thing. I think you can even get more, like six or 700, right? Um, in this case here, again, I've got some pretty good damage to elites. Maybe I want to roll on 500 skill power so I can start using some of these mods. Um, in cases of, of, of like, you know, every single armor piece, really, we're just starting to now get this huge chunk of extra damage. Like, I'm looking at some of these items here, and like one or two of them are okay. Like this weapon damage roll is probably pretty good. Crit chance is, is okay, but we can start cranking up some of these numbers. Like this weapon damage roll is terrible. And if I wanted to get this up to five or six or 7% in the current game, I'd have to re-roll this thing like four freaking times. It would take like multiple recalibrations. I get one or 2% every time, and we'd, we'd be able to get that number up. But right now, I could just find something with better weapon damage and just, just crank it up. I could just crank it up to, to like, you know, 6.5% in one hit. It's giving me only half of the way there. So I could probably get 10% weapon damage here. These items are going to start having much, much better, much better stats. And because of this, you're going to start seeing some, some builds where you can actually start really specking into crit chance the way we've kind of moved away from that in the last patch. You're going to notice that on something like your holster. Oh, God, I'm out of there again. On your holster, you know, I've only got 3.5 crit chance here, right? I've got 12,000 health, but I can, I can move over like 11.5% crit chance. We can get a huge chunk of crit chance here. You're going to start seeing some very, very cool options here. You're going to start seeing some builds that, that are able to incorporate a uh, more critical chance or weapon damage or headshot damage and, and armor. You're going to see a huge impact on your armor. You can start getting rid of some of these, you know, you know, shitty little rolls maybe you're not interested in. Like, oh, I got only 4,000 health. Well, why don't we just crank that health up to 12,000, 12, right? We can get 14,000, 15,000. Look at that. That's, that's almost 14,000 health. This is huge. This is huge for our builds. Recalibration has been reworked, and we're going to start having some awesome, awesome stats going into this new, uh, this new stuff. So what I recommend you do is you start looking for these items that have the god roll, that have the huge armor, the huge health, the huge crit chance, and you start saving a couple of them because these stats are finally going to be able to move over and bring some actual value. Anyways, that's pretty much it for me, guys. I just wanted to show you guys this in action because this is a, a very large remake of the, the recalibration station. And uh, I think it's a great quality of life thing. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you're interested in a wicked monitor for your setup, check out ViewSonic. Links are in the description to ViewSonic. And uh, if you're looking for an awesome energy drink, click on the old uh, 
Link in the description to advance.gg. Use code MTASHED at checkout for 10% off. See you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.